you know, you're not alone. You're not alone how you feel. You're not alone when you feel anxious, when you feel depressed. You're not alone. I can tell you I have been there. I have been in states where people called me ugly, where people made me feel like I was useless, where people made me feel like I was no one, where people hurt me so badly. I know the feeling of when it is to be heartbroken and you just want to feel like, I, you just feel as though life is over. But no, it goes on. And this is the beautiful thing about it. You ever think about, look at the day after you feel like you just want to hurt yourself and the day after, how you think? You yourself know that. Look back at those dark times when you think you couldn't do it and show yourself you can do it because it happened already. Every time you're given a new challenge in life and this is what keeps you going. I can tell you this, I learned to love myself. I didn't, I probably was one of the people that never knew how beautiful of a person I am, how amazing I am. I always went around trying to show off other people and others, other people's words. I show off their stuff, show them up to the world. And I know how it feels to be shut down. But I learned to love myself. And I learned to love myself and I want to share this with you. When you think you're alone or you're a loser or you, or you lost everything that you think you are or you're not, it's not worth living, trust me, it is worth living. Look at yourself. Get up. Go to the mirror. And that person in that mirror, that reflection, that person is you. And that person, you, needs you. Nothing more. That person is the only person you need to expect anything from or expects anything from you. And that is you. You don't feel good today? Relax. Recharge. Do it again tomorrow. Everything happens in the right moment. And me telling you I learned to love myself, I want to share this with you all. This is one of my new songs. I did this. I wanted to come out here for Suicide Awareness Month as it's coming to an end. And I really wanted to do something for everyone. And I want to share some love. Love that you all know that I come on here and I share week after week. Everything I do on Your Life Experiences with Ra is sharing love to show you all that you are loved and you are not alone. I love all of you. And I want you to love you the way I love me. And that's a lot. So I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself how much you love you. But this is a cover I did. It's an old Dan Hill song, Never Taught. And I want to tell all of you, it doesn't matter, girl or boy, whoever you are, the soul is neither male nor female. And those of you who are spiritual, I'll tell you this. Think about this this way and love yourself divinely, divinely from inside. People preach all the time and say, you're made in the image of the Lord. If you're made in the image of the Lord, therefore you love God, you have to love yourself. Can I touch you? I can't believe that you are real. How did I ever find you? You are the dream that saved my life You are the reason I survive Baby, I never thought that I could love Someone as much as I love you I know it's crazy, but it's true 
and thank you all for showing me all the love and the support for the past three and a half years that your life experiences with Ra has been here trying and doing as best as we can to help those who need to hear this and right now I want you all to share this so who needs to hear it can hear it you know last time I was speaking to a good friend of mine and she lost her friend to suicide. And I'm talking about someone close to 60. Yep, people think that that is only young people or middle-aged people get um, feel depressed. So it's everybody. Mental health disorders are everywhere. Something is wrong with you. It's a disease just like everything else. If you need to get help and you need to speak to someone, do it. Call someone, speak to them. And those of you who have people in your lives who are pouring their hearts out to you, recognize and know who needs help. Help them. And she was really, she was really heartbroken when she was telling me the story. A lot of people who are in pain, constant pain, and I know what pain is as well. I've been there, I, I am in pain every single day. Sometimes I don't feel to roll off my bed because I'm in pain, but I have to do it. And I understand how it feels to go into depression feeling this every day, but you want to better you. The same way if you realize something. Those of you who suffer with, with, with chronic pain and you have let it hold you back before, this is what I want you to do from now on. Focus on trying your best and push yourself to do one extra thing. Sometimes when people are depressed, they don't feel to get up and brush their teeth. I understand how that feels. I was there once and I know that for a fact. When we think that it's only a certain type of people commit suicide, no. In 2014, my mom broke her ankle and 
I think in 2016 we were trying to get life insurance or something for her and when we tried to get a report from the cardiologist's office we found out that her, um, her cardiologist had killed himself. It's very sad. Doctors, lawyers, the people that you think that has no problems, everyone has a problem. Everyone is going through something out there. And everyone gets a relief in the right moment. And trust me when I say this because it happens to all of us. It happens to me. It happened to me in a bad way before. You know, in 2012, I met this really awesome kid at one of my Christmas parties. Mm -hmm. And the next summer, I found out he, it was all over the news. He walked into Central Park in the lake and killed himself. I know what it is like to drive behind an ambulance racing behind someone you love. Because they attempted to kill them, take their own life. They attempted to take their own life. I know what it is like when someone you love try to take their own life because of love. Because they hurt and they love someone, someone so much that they will betray. And I understand what it feels like. And you're not alone. And I understand what it feels like to go look for that, that person that you love in the hospital where they're supposed to be and they're missing from that bed. And the first thing comes to mind is you hope that, it, that they didn't pass away. But with prayers and with belief, and it's not the right moment or time for you to leave as well. It wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. Over the weekend, I spent my weekend with Rick, Rick Sykes, David Lee Roth, and some of their amazing friends. And I met someone who told me they attempted to kill themselves three times. And they realize that they have a purpose here. And they have a purpose. And they're still alive. And she's grateful for that. Our life is a puzzle. How we put it together, how we see it. But somehow or the other, we have to do it. I know it, it's hard and it's really hard. I have done research on, the, on this in many different ways. I spoke to people in depression, who has anxiety, all the front disorders. It's sad, it's, it's sad. Betrayal plays a big, huge part. And what I have realized is human beings play a huge part in people's depressed state or where they feel like they want to commit suicide. In the United States alone, Approximately 130 to 140 people die committing suicide each day. Approximately almost 50,000 people lose their life in the United States each year by a suicide. In the world, recorded from 2020, we haven't gotten 2021 as yet, but 2020, 1.37 million people killed themselves. 1.3 million people in the United States attempted suicide. Look out for your friends. And if you really love someone and you're hurting because of that, call someone and pour your heart out for them. But Ra wants you to know that he loves you and you are not alone. I know what it feels like. You're not alone. Call someone and talk to them. But at times you really need to just speak to someone. Find a friend, a counselor, a psychologist, someone to listen to. Call the hotlines. There's always someone ready to listen to you. And believe me, I know this. Our fellow brothers and sisters in the country, Guyana, is number two on the list for committed suicide. 40% of the world population of who commit suicide 
is from Guyana. And we really need to do something about this. Recently, I found out that parents putting out their young kids, brothers and sisters, brothers fighting their own brothers, they're throwing them out because they change their religion or they believe in something different. Listen, love your kids, love your family. They're yours. If your kids are, are gay, lesbians, transgender, love them. They are yours. Don't let religion, anything define you from loving your child. And you pray to God with love, but you reject the child that God gave you that belonged to him as well. Most of the times your kids attempt suicide, commit suicide, and you ask yourself why, what did you do wrong, or you try to find out your child is in depression because of terms, terminologies you would use around the child that he or she would not like it, discriminating on people. A lot, there's too much hate in the world today. There's so little time to love, but still people find a time to hate. And this is what causes most of the problems in the world, leading into depression, anxiety, all the disorders for mental health is caused by human beings. And we need to change. You need to change and help your fellow brother and sisters, your children, love them. So I just want you to know that you all are not alone and I'm here for all of you. Those that message me, tell me your stories and your problems and you, I'm here to give you whatever as I always say, I'm not a counselor so or certified a psychologist, but I come out here to give you my best life experience together with other people's life experiences. Like soon you'll be hearing Rick Sykes' story coming on your life experiences with all. I just wanted to come out here to tell all of you Rastas that I love you all and I want you all to know that you are loved and that there is help if you need to speak to someone. You don't have anyone in your circle to speak to, but there is someone and I always tell you that. You can call a friend and I am telling you this, who you haven't spoken to, who you know you trusted or something and just pick up your phone and call that person. That person will pick up the phone and speak to you or they will call you back. I believe that. But then again, this generation have a thing about not picking up the phone these days and refer to text. Sometimes it's good to pick up the phone. You don't know the reason someone is calling you at the right moment. Pick up your phone when you see someone call you or call them back within a certain time. You're not that busy to do that. Be there for people because people need you. The same way you need people. You do not know when you will fall into the hole that someone else is in at the moment. I always say this, people have a problem and your problem is big, but the person next to you has a problem as well that's 10 times bigger than yours and it goes up a ladder like that. When I hear someone complain that they didn't have a birthday cake for, the, for their birthday, there are kids that do not have food to eat. Uh -huh. And they don't want to kill themselves. They're looking for something to eat to survive. And this is something you all need to learn. Don't let little things hurt you. You can help yourself. You can push yourself forward. Love yourself. Believe in you more than anyone else. Then you, and you, with you, I'm telling you, there's no failures. Because you have no one to please. You just have to please you. Your examination is you. Whether you pass or you fail in, those, in any type of paperwork, any way in life, did you try a project and it didn't work out? Only person supposed to be disappointed it is in you. You don't have to worry what other people think. 
you have to know that, hey, I give it a good try and I know I didn't fail because you, you did something that others wouldn't do. So, I want you all to start believing more in yourself. When you want more from life, you go for it. You are not going for it for raw. You're doing it for you. You're not going to do it for mommy, daddy, brother or sister. You are going to do it for you. Believe in you. You know, I'm going to drop some of the hotline numbers under this link. And I want you guys to share this. Comment, like. You know, I come out here week after week or whenever I bring you a new video with someone. I, I with someone else interviewing them. It's not just an interview. I want the person to focus on their darkest moments and how they overcome it. For you to hear it, to know that you can do it as well. Mental health is huge. It's so vast. You wouldn't believe, like, I, I speak to so much people that when I hear their problems, I myself can't believe it when I know I have been through so much, but I always, one thing I know when I speak to people, I can connect with them because something somewhere, my, my problem might not have been big as theirs, but I have pinched on it. And for my pinch would have been a massive thing. Their thing is way bigger than mine in a different manner and they are pushing themselves. Don't hurt anyone, love. Let's try to change the world differently. It's your life experiences to draw and I really want you all to know that you're not alone. And hit the hashtag Rastas right now, R-H-S-T-A-Z. Send your love, share, send your, send your stories for your life experiences to draw. I want all of you to call someone that you miss. Call someone that you know that goes through some problems. Call someone that you think needs to hear from you. I, during the pandemic, I said this during my videos, call someone and talk to them. They might need to hear from you. And if you need to speak to someone, call them and look at things in a brighter picture, in a positive note. I know it's easier to get consumed in negativity, but think on the positive side. Go with the flow of the best outcome. Just think positive. It happens. The positive vibes that you give out, you bring back in. Karma. You send out good energy, you get good energy. And this is what I hope all of you are getting here tonight. You know, I tell all of you, look in the mirror. Tell yourself you love you. Take that deep breath. Let out all the negativity and enter only beauty into yourself of your love for you and love you more give yourself a pat on the back and tell yourself hey you did great you got through yesterday today is a new day i'm not a professional singer i do these things so you know it can collab with what i do on your life experiences as well and it, it helps motivate. I know hearing this, someone out there will know they are loved. And I really do love all of you. This is Ra, and I love you all. Share, subscribe to my channel, and share it. Because I know someone needs to hear it. And they will. And you can save someone's life. I love you all. This is Ra. I love you all. 